हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माई चैनल फाइस आई इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम नंबर टेन इन लैगर इंजन डायनामिक्स सॉरी फ्रॉम द इन द पास्ट वीक आई डिडेंट अपलोड एनी न्यू प्रॉब्लम बट फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन आई विल अपलोड द प्रॉब्लम्स रेगुलरली ओके सो वट इज द प्रॉब्लम इट इज अ पार्टिकल इज मूविंग ऑन द इनर सर्फेस ऑफ द कॉन दिस इज अ कॉन okay this is cone with uh, which is symmetrical with respect to z axis and a particle is moving inside the inner surface of this cone okay uh, and uh, the half angle of cone is phi okay uh, the particle is moving only uh, under the uh, gravitational attraction okay we have to find the equation of uh, motion using lagrangian mechanics or lagrangian dynamics okay now in this problem this problem can be solved this can be solved using cylindrical coordinates this problem can be solved using cylindrical coordinates now uh, to solve to to find the equation of motion uh the uh, we have to uh, we have to find the lagrangian and then we'll put that lagrangian in the lagrangian equations okay and we will have the necessary equation okay so <coughs> the lagrangian of the particle using cylindrical coordinate the lagrangian of the particle is given by l is equal to half of m and then r dot square plus r square theta dot square plus z dot square okay okay this is it now we have to find the solution in limited number of generalized coordinates now from this we can see that there is a relation between this r and this z okay uh, how they are related i will write uh, uh, on this side uh, this is uh, this is 90 degree okay this angle is 90 degree so the r upon z is equal to tan phi it means r and z are related okay by this equation it also means that z is equal to r upon tan phi and that is equal to r uh, cot phi okay also z dot will be equal to r dot and cot phi so this is the uh, 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 this is the uh, kinetic energy in the lagrangian and what about the uh, uh, the potential energy it will be m g and z okay so the lagrangian of this particle becomes m this is r dot square plus r square theta dot square plus and in z we will write r dot square and this cot square phi and minus mg and uh, we'll put the value of z from uh, here uh, so it will be equal to mgr cot phi okay now we can simplify this equation and we'll have half of m this is r dot square okay and this is also r dot and it becomes 1 plus cot square phi plus r square theta dot square minus mgr cot phi okay so lagrangian will be r dot square cosecant square phi 1 plus cot square phi is equal to cosecant square phi and plus r square theta dot square and minus mgr cot phi now we can see we have 
two generalized coordinates in this equation one is theta and another is r okay so we'll have to find we will have two uh, equations of motion first one first one is the equation uh, of the variable r and then the variable z so those two equation will be r dot minus del upon del r is equal to 0 and the second equation will be d by dt of del l upon del theta minus del l upon uh, del theta is equal to 0 okay now let's find out del l by del r now del l by del r uh, we have uh, the r here and the r here so it will become it will become m okay then r then theta dot whole square minus mg cot phi okay and then del l upon del r dot it will be equal to it will be equal to m r dot cosecant square phi okay uh, m r dot and cosecant square phi okay that's it now putting <coughs> putting these two in the above equation what we'll get we'll get uh, and uh, you know uh, differentiating uh, this whole uh, with respect to uh, time and we'll have <coughs> now this we'll have m r double dot cosecant square phi and this term minus m r theta dot square plus m g cot phi is equal to zero okay now taking uh, this uh, m out of this equation we will get r double dot minus r theta dot square and then cosecant square phi plus g quad phi upon cosecant square phi is equal to 0 this is the necessary equation of motion in terms of the coordinate r okay you can also uh, write it as uh, sine square phi and this uh, this will be written as uh, you know uh, cos phi and sin phi cos phi sin phi okay but this will suffice now what about this this equation for this uh, let us uh, first find out the value of del l upon del theta now uh, we can see that there is no theta term this is this is not a theta term this is theta dot term okay so delta l by del l is zero okay this is zero now what about delta l upon delta theta dot now there is a theta dot term here okay no theta dot term here no delta dot theta dot term here so uh, differentiating this this will become m r square theta dot okay m r square theta dot it means putting this in the above equation we will have d by dt okay of uh, m r square theta dot and minus 0 is equal to 0 okay so differentiating this we will have m r square theta uh, theta double dot uh, sorry 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 this is 0 this is theta dot theta dot okay this is equal to 0 okay it means it also means that d by dt of m r square theta is equal to 0 or or m r square theta dot is a 
constant of motion okay since uh, we are dealing only how to uh, solve these problems i'll no go into the details of uh, the motion okay maybe uh, in some other video okay uh, in the next uh, uh, lecture or next video we'll discuss another problem on uh, legacy okay uh, uh, friends uh, after doing uh, uh, some problems around you know, 30 to 40 problems we will discuss uh, about uh, the problems on uh, uh, the previous problems on gate and uh, csir net okay uh, till then okay. thank you see you in the lecture